Let's do another optimization problem. So here we're, we have a spool of wire and we're given four feet of the wire to create a circle and a square. And we want to find out when we have a maximum area, how much of, of the wire should go to the square and how much should go to the circle. Okay, so, so to write a, a function of uh, 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 our area function, that's not too too difficult. We know that, that the square has sides x and x, and so its area, of course, is x squared. We also know that this circle has a radius of r, and so its area is equal to pi r squared. Okay, so the total area, our area function, is going to be equal to x squared, the area of the square, plus pi r squared, the area of the circle. But you can see that we've run into a little bit of a roadblock again in the sense that we have a function in terms of two variables. So we want to get this in terms of one variable. And this is the, the difficult part in some cases, but I mean, Right now, it's not going to be too hard. Let's just see what we can do. So even though this spool of wire, in my opinion, looks really cool, I'm going to erase it to make some space for us. All right. The way that we're going to solve uh, for this to be in one variable is to recognize that we're given this limitation. Four feet of wire is the total maximum wire we can use. And that relates to the perimeters. You can see the white the white outline, that's, that's the actual wire. So the total wire is equal to, to the amount used by the square, which is going to be 4x. So this is 4x plus the amount used by the circle, which is going to be the circumference, which is 2 pi r. And now we can use this to solve for r, and we can find out that r equals 4 minus 4x over 2 pi which can simplify for us into 2 times 1, oops, sorry, 1 minus x over pi. So the 2 just divided into both the 4's and then I factored a 2 out. Okay, so this is r, and now we're going to take r and plug it into our original equation, and then we'll have area in terms of just x. So let's do that. So once we plug this in, this will be area equals x squared, plus pi times by 2 over 1 minus x over pi all squared. And this will simplify to x squared plus pi times 2, or sorry, 4 times 1 minus x all squared over pi squared. And then we'll just do one more simplifying step which is to to cancel one of these pi's out. This is pi times and then it's being divided by pi squared so one of those pi's will cancel. Let's see what we got left over. So area finally is equal to x squared plus 4 times 1 minus x all, uh, all squared over pi. Okay, and now I'm actually, I'm going to just keep simplifying this and, and I'm going to leave the algebra steps up to you. I'm, what I'm going to do is I want to make this all one thing. So we have a number and a fraction, I want to make it all one, all together, essentially. And, and how I'm going to do that uh, I'll, I'll leave those steps up to you, but essentially I'm just going to multiply this by pi over pi so that it's I have pi x squared over pi and then I'll have a common denominator and be able to, to do that. And then I'm going to square this out. And the whole thing comes out to be, the area comes out to be um, 1 over pi, so that's just a constant, times by, and this will be 4 plus pi times x squared minus 8x plus 4.
So that's what this whole thing simplifies down to. And this is a little bit, I think it's a little bit nicer to take the derivative of. So um, that's, that's what I, I, I'm going to do. Okay, so now we can take the derivative though. So let's do that. So the derivative of the area with respect to x. Well, this 1 over pi is just a constant, so that, that stays where it was, 1 over pi. And then we have 2 times 4 plus pi times x minus 8. And that is, that is the derivative. And now we can set that equal to 0 to find our critical numbers. Oh, geez, I, 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 I have sinned. And what I mean by that is, is we didn't talk about the domain. The domain of this function is is going to be important. The, so what can what is the most x can be and what is the least x can be? Well, the least x can be is zero. If x is zero, we just we have no square. All the area will go to the circle. So x x can't be less than zero because x can't be a negative number. We can't have negative length. So x is at the very least 0, and at the very most, x is going to be 1. Because if x is 1, then we'd have 1 foot plus 1 foot plus 1 foot plus 1 foot. We'd have 4 feet of wire de devoted to the square, and that's all the wire we have. We're only allowed 4 feet of wire, so at most, x can be 1. So x is going to be between 0 and 1. OK. So that was important. And now we can find our critical numbers. I apologize for not, for not doing that before. So the critical numbers happen when this thing is equal to 0. So if we just set that equal to 0, 2 times 4 plus pi times x minus 8 equals 0. You see, 1 over pi is never going to make this 0. So only the inside of this is going to make itself 0. Add 8 to the other side, divide by 2 times 4 plus pi, and we end up with 4 x, or I should say x, is equal to 4 over 4 plus pi. So that's our critical number. When x is equal to 4 over 4 plus pi, that's our critical number. And now what happens is, is if we plug this into the original function, when we plug this into the original area function, we are going to get that the area, the area of our critical number, so the area of 4 over 4 plus pi, is approximately 0.56. But let's test our endpoints. What's the area of, let me actually, let me clean this up. So. I'll, I, I apologize for backtracking on you constantly, but we we took the derivative, we found the domain, we did all this work, and here is our area function. Here's our area function. So when we take the we when, uh, what I just said is when we take the area of four over four plus pi. So our critical number, when we look at the area that, that occurs at our critical number, we get something, the area is approximately 0.56. And this would be feet squared. When we take the area of 0, one of our end, the endpoints of our domain, well, we could do that, that probably just by looking at it. This is 0 plus, uh, this will be 0, so this will be 1 squared, 4 times 1, this will be um, this will be equal to 4 over pi, which is clearly, this is greater than 1. That's greater than 1, 4 over pi. Pi is 3. And then if we take the area of 1, well, this will become exactly 1. Because this whole thing right here will, go to, will be 0, and x squared is just equal to 1. This is equal to one. Another way we could have said that is if if x is one, we know that all the the whole uh, the the whole all of the wire will go to the square, and then the area will just be x squared, which is one. Okay, but you could see that the area is the greatest when x is zero. So it happens at our our endpoint, and when x is zero, the square has no area, and all the area goes to the circle. 
See you in the next video.